Hey, hey, hi, hello, how the heck are you? You're with your boy Cam from the beautiful Vancouver, Canada. I do want to shout out all the people who are lurking across all of our multiple platforms on Rumble, DLive, Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. Um, we're in your home, on your phone, on your tablet, or your TV. Sharing the joins, uh, the joins, sharing the joins, you're going, <laughs> sharing the joys of games as we do every two nights. Like, it impacts you on an emotional level almost. Like, it really does. Like, good stories. I think this actually translates to games as well, because you guys have seen games actually impact your boy here, right? Grown-ass man. Um, Well-done stories are art, and they have a way of impacting you emotionally. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm... <s> <laughs> Is everything all right? Fight him. No! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> Fight him. I'm with you. I'll find out where you're buried. Well, um, <laughs> and Abe, Abraham as well. Oh god, jeez, crazy. This guy, he, she, she wants in on it too. You're looking so tough now, you won't be you? stirring up no more trouble. This better be good. There we go. Okay, I'll let them go. Let's see what we're actually actually called. Can I loot this guy? <laughs> you blatant thief! Yes, yes I am. Thank you for recognizing that. Away! I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, what are we actually doing here? What is our game plan? What's our strategy? Besides looting, killing around people. Oh, we have uh, stories right here. Oh, Karl Marx memories. Oh, shit. Let's get on that. I think that's a great way to just kind of start. Let's let's get things going. Like, I can't believe even after all this time, that episode is in, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what is that? Can I get that? I, I am I'm so... I want to... <laughs> like, my daughter is 80. She's like, wonder where she gets it from. Hmm. It's like, oh, look at that, uh, look at that thing. <laughs> Got it. All right. Oh, it's back this way. <laughs> What's good, Potato Time? How the hell are you doing, brother? We just got started. It's a very late start for us tonight, which sucks. I'm going to be exhausted tomorrow. I have a work day. But worth it. Yeah, it, it was a traumatizing episode, right? And, and the actors did such a great job. In that episode, they really did. Okay, can I... Oh wow! I didn't even. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now before we start the episode, I need to refill on some stuff and some things. How's your day, potato time, huh? I would like to buy. There we are. I could have fast traveled here. Shit. <laughs> Still getting over the episode. Oof. It is over that way. What? Hold up. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. How's uh, hi, how's uh, your week been, Potato? How have you been in general? Oh, actually, hold on. Potato time, since you're here. I just need to double check something. <laughs> because, um... Could you do me a big favor, uh, Potato Time? Could you reset the bot for me, please? I'm so sorry. It just went down the other night. It didn't work on the last week. I just noticed it. <laughs> if you can. If not, it's no big deal. I just noticed that it just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hilarious. There we go. Let's... Go buy from our boy here. Oof. Excuse me. Gentlemen. Pardon me. Excuse me. Gotta talk to my boy here. Oof. Alright, refill all. I only have 500 bucks, bro? What? What? Hopefully there's some money in here. I didn't know I was that broke. We must have done some upgrades at the end of the last episode. Like, we're broke as F, friends. Alright, let's refill all. We can barely do it. <laughs> well, let me get some of the chats up here. What am I doing? Alright. Refill all. There we go. 
Come back again, boy. Yeah, let's do the Karl Marx memory. Oh, Mr. Marx, what are for we're for it though? A race? They have races in this? Holy shit. Alright, cool. I'm down. Oh man. Yeah, I don't really I never really get into TV shows very often. But when Nikki and I started dating, that kind of, that show kinda of got us like at the same time. So get drunk. All right, an explosive end. Can I talk to you, sir? There we go. Let's go. They're moving the shipment, but we must go now. There's a carriage on the next corner. If we hide within, they'll drive us right to it. Sweet, I'm down. It's time you went home. I'll hide in the carriage alone. Home? Back to a cold and cheerless house where I'll wear black gloves and sport a weed on my hat for a year. Uh -huh. I'll return to the factory like a small cog in the Great Wheel of Capital. No, I want justice. I must have those explosives. I grieve with you, but would your wife want to see your hands stained with the blood of so many? Mm. I am trying to build a better world. Talk to him, Evie. To ensure that no one suffers what my son did. Pray tell me, friend, how much blood do you consider that to be worth? Ooh. Oh shit, he well, he's just kicking rocks. He literally is like we told him to go kick rocks and he, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Alright, let's get in this carriage here. I'll keep those ones alive until they take me to our destination. Right. There she is. No, I didn't mean to do that! Ah, shit. I pressed the wrong one. Well, who said we can't do anything boring and quietly? Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> it's not how we do Gotta things. Go. Evie's not like that, man. She doesn't give a flying fornication. Go on. Roll there. <laughs> yeah, keep going, horsey. Hold on. Okay, let's get over here. Yo, my people are coming with me! They, they copped a, a carriage too! Fight? Nah. You're dead. Kill the Templars using Nitro? Fuck yes, I will! Let's get it. We got a sniper up there. Oh, my people are with me. Oh shit! I think they're gonna cause a problem. Oh, they're behind shit. I thought it was gonna be easy though. I have no angles, bro. There's a lot of Yeah, I know. Hold on. <laughs> There's one. Oh, look, there's more. We lost another good one. <laughs> Come back here, cow. What'd you call me? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? We fucking nailed that dismount. Let's go. Oh, that was dope. I don't even know what happened. Well, I. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! I can't even fight, that was beautiful! <laughs> and we got the kill, and we survived! And my team is fucking kicking ass, let's go! <laughs> oh, that was a... Oh my gosh, I can't even talk properly right now. Whoo! <laughs> if the police don't collect the body, the rats will. Oh, good lord. Oh, we're doing more of this. This is too fun. Sir? Oh, there's kiddos there, though. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, come at me, bro. Let's let's walk over here. There's no kids. Oh, Stabby, that was just... That was, like, stunt falling. Oh, you, you gonna make a move, sir? You too fucking dumb to walk around a pipe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, well, we just gotta get... We just gotta... Uh, yeet. I'm sorry, but my need is greater than you know. Oh, this motherfucker, bro. Mr. Morris! Poor man. I hope he finds some kind of peace. Now to destroy the crates! No one is getting their hands on this hellfire! That dumbass, we tried to protect him too. We tried to. And he just wouldn't fucking hand he just wouldn't know for an answer, right? Oh, it must be outside. How come the ones Ah oh, well. I don't care. That's an intruder! Yeah, nothing you're gonna do about it, sir. Oh yeah? Oh please. Let's go. What? Okay, is that what else you got? But I'm gonna steal from you. Now. Run away, kiddos. Someone's up to no good. <laughs> there we go. I just wanted to do the near-death recovery, that's all. You know. Alright, time to get out of here. That was fun. Alright. It was actually pretty funny. I was listening to Epic Rap Battle of the History Day, and they did uh, a rap battle for Henry Ford versus Karl Marx. Which, if you think of the, the two men and their idioms, their ideologies, man, that's... They had a lot to go back at each, at each other with, that's for damn sure. It was, it, that was a great uh, rap battle they, they wrote there. You're back, Mr. Morris. I see. I was afraid it would come to this. He was a good man, but even the best of us can lose our way when blinded by grief. Still, I thank you for preventing a greater tragedy. You're welcome. There, we needed that money too. We really did. Alright, there's another Mark's uh, memory. And what's the B? Breaking news. Oh, we got another Karl Marx one right over here. Let's. Is there a fast travel close by? Not really. Like, eh. Yeah, you know, we can, let's hit this, and then we can just go straight through as a crow flies. Oh. So, a 600-piece puzzle, Stephanie. Or 650, you said? You know what? It's weird. I've never really cared for puzzles, but about four months ago, I kind of got an inkling to just start one. I don't know why. I've never really been super into them. I'm not against them. What was the picture of the puzzle of? If you don't mind me asking. Alright. 
There we go. Thanks for your business. That was a weird sound. Okay, this one's called Where There's Smoke. Well, we already did explosives. Why is all of Karl Marx's freaking episodes or st <laughs> missions have to do with like smoke, fire, and explosives? <laughs> I don't know. That's okay though. Digital puzzles on your computer. Oh, okay, cool. How long does it take you? See, the one, th one of the reasons why I wouldn't get into a puzzle is because once I make it, we have two kids and a cat. You know that shit's getting destroyed. <laughs> Alright, where there's smoke and a pancake. Corruption reigns here, I'm sure of it. The number of people injured by their machinery cannot be calculated, and yet the company continues to prosper. They must be grinder. stopped for the sake of the poor workers they abuse. If only we had some form of proof. There must be records of the accident somewhere inside, which mm. would surely prove their malfeasance. I should think you'd need to find the foreman, but how you'd convince him to give you the reports? We have ways. Perhaps if they think the factory's on fire, you might bluff your way past. Okay. I have to air assassinate a guard? Okay, I guess. Find and ignite the bale. So, hey. so the puzzle Victorian desert setting with fruit and wine. That sounds nami. I can some fruit and wine right now. We got one down here. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's right on the inside. Ah! Annoyance. <laughs> you did so many physical with candy in 2020. I said you wouldn't do any more of that kind again. Of He's kind of puzzled your way out, is that right? Don't say anything. But yeah, do you just kind of like puzzle yourself out? <laughs> we're supposed to convince them or fake there's a fire? No, we're gonna actually make one. Sake. There we go. Everybody yeah, everybody out. <coughs> oh, sir. I'd have a word. The whole place is going to burn. Get a fire engine here! Quickly! I have to hijack a fire truck? Oh my word. All the way over there? Holy shit, dude. So you guys did 15 puzzles? We have them you'd have them stacked. You need to get glued and mounted. Okay, gotcha. That was probably a fun thing to do together though, right? Why is it so far away? Wait, 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 wait. Dude, there's closer ones. Why is it... I'm an idiot. There's closer ones. Shit. <laughs> oh, fire truck. Oh, fire truck. I'm in need of assistance. How, how do I call 911? <laughs> Why does a kid have hallucinogenic darts? Just wondering. Asking for a friend, you know. Holy sheesh. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
Oh, dude, they were coming here anyway. Are you kidding me? Slowly now. Here now. What about any reports? We must get them out of there before the fire takes them. Mother of God, you're right. Follow me, quickly. Are we going back in just for the reports? It's fun, but I got old after all. Yeah, if you do that many puzzles, I get it. I totally get it. Which one was your favorite? Was there a certain one that you say is like your favorite? They should be just inside here. Well, first off, you get treasure. Oh, they Good. They're safe. <laughs> Sir, wh oh. where are you going? Oh. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. Whew. Got it. Oh, it's defend? We'll defend. Streets close, stay your bit. Bitch. <laughs> We're good. All right. Now, we have another... Holy shit, Marks is all over the place, man. Vox Populi. What, are we playing Bioshock Infinite or what? <laughs> okay, do we have a fast travel? We have... Well, we're here. That's a little closer. I suppose. Fine. Eh. Is there... Hold up. I don't want to do the cargo hijack right now. Maybe it was just a... A, a wagon I could grab. Come on. Huh? See you, boy. <gasps> Yeet. Good. Yeah. Perfect. That's just the way we're going. There we are. Grand Theft Auto. In Industrial Revolution London. <laughs> Grand Theft Horse? Grand Theft Wagon? The GTA's GTW? There we go. Ooh, there's a beer bottle here. Apparently. There we are. Do that. All right, good sir. Vox Populi, huh? Right. Once again, there's a huge pile on temporary board under the downstairs guest bedroom. It's a Disney compilation, so like all Disney stuff. That would be insane. How many pieces is that? Is that like a thousand piece? I'm so relieved to have found you. I fear my upcoming meeting is going to be disrupted. Oh Strike no, now it's guard him again. Or police spies. Ruffians who fear the march of progress. Ruffians! Fear not, Mr. Marx. I'll look after you. I worry that any agitation will incite terrible violence. So please remove troublemakers without attracting any attention. Ah, shit. Wunderbar. Thank you. I must prepare, but I will see you inside shortly. Right, so we have to do stealthy shit. 15 hundo? Hide body on high spot. Don't kill any policemen. Oh, shit. Kidnap troublemakers without being seen? Don't cause any problems, sir. There's police here. We're going to go this way. Don't. I don't want to hurt you. But we will. Fucking cops everywhere, man. Let's do this. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Fuck. Ah, man, sometimes the stealthy shit annoys me. Are you serious? Good lord. Like, how much time do I have here? Notice how he's not talking to anybody, everyone ran away. I think I found my spot here. Scream and it'll be your last. Let me go. I'll tell you anything you want. It has been said that the House of Commons is a house of millions. I put it to you today that the House of Commons don't struggle. Don't mind us, officer. There we go. That's a hiding spot? Nice. Nice. Okay, the tough part is I don't know how much time I have. Nice, some people are coming back. Just do the same thing. I wonder if Karl Marx's speech right now is like one that he actually gave. That'd be really cool if it was. I think it would be. Yeah, we're just gonna take a long walk off short to uh, here. Here, hello, officer. We do the same thing as we did last time. We're going to take a walk. What? You and I. Okay. <laughs> of the workers, they will act so as to bring okay, every there he is. possible obstacle in the way. This area is restricted. What's he doing there? There must be something in here. Yo, this guy's like way off the beaten path. Uh, ah, get off me! If you get want off. to live, don't make a sound. What's up, Real? Good to see you, buddy. It's a very late stream. We just started at like 10 o'clock Pacific. It's... Oh, what's this guy doing here? I don't want to hurt you. Look, all right, all right. I think the win. cop would notice, like, A, he's got a dead body, and B, we're clearly... We got this guy's arm fucked up. We're going to take a walk. I'll you do whatever die. you say! Yeah, you will. <gasps> Done. Perfect. It probably was a real speech, you know. I, it's, this is an educational game, absolutely, to totally about. educational. Yeah, go see what that's about, sir. Got your bla your B twenty one platinum. Uh, what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit. This meeting is adjourned. You're all free to go, apart from Mister Marks. Well, as long as you do everything we can say, dude. Like I said, I said before, I don't judge nobody. As long as everything is above board and with consent. Seven's here. Where's our boy? Yo, Karl Marx. Oh, he lost his hat. Oh, 
fuck, this is actually a tough defense. Stop it! Holy shit! Where you going, bro? You've done a great service for the workers of London. I'm confident the reforms we seek cannot be far over the mm. horizon. Oof. I don't suppose you'd formally join the workers' party. Mm. I'm not much for politics. He's not much for anything that requires deep thought. Uh -huh. Does that mean you'll join, Comrade Evie? I'm afraid I have other responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Honorary memberships, perhaps. You don't give up, do you? We seem to have that in common. Auf Wiedersehen, my friends. Aww. Oh, nice. Is that all the marks, uh, memories? I think we did good, actually. We did really well on this. How was your, how was your day, real? Aside from, uh, your evening activities. Colors wine. Red, red wine. What's up, bro, Tim? How's it going? Happy, what is it? Wednesday night? Wednesday morning, for probably most people. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to have you on the stream. What are we doing next anyway, by the way? Uh, you know what? Let's hit up the train. Let's get some money. Let's get some money right now, because we're, we're low. Right, real. Right. I got that. I'm glad for you. I'm glad. <laughs> Anything else for the rest of your day, sir? <laughs> there are a dozen types of beer, including porter, stout, four-penny ale, a small beer... Cooper, half porter, ha, half four penny L. I couldn't read the rest. Bro, Tim, have you played any of the Assassin's Creed games? As well as food, street sellers sold brick dust and sand for cleaning pots and pans, doormats, brooms, sieves, sieves, pen knives, rhubarb, for constipation, of course. <laughs> Jeez. Man. Hmm. I Seems a letter has come for Jacob. I find it really fascinating how people lived back then, and it's like, how did they do it? Like, they used, like, dust and stuff to wash their pans, and I'm pretty much, like, a couple hundred years from now, people look back at us and, like, how the fuck did they live? You know? It's just crazy. How much money we got in the safe? 4,400, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Is this a cargo thing? Train robbery? I gotta get on that. How do I? Let's go to wait, 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 wait! I thought this was it. Are, are we? What? I thought we were on the train robbery, aren't we? Yeah, because it's red. It's gotta be it, right? All right, well, let's start from the back side. Damn it. No. No, you can't. Fuck, damn it, Evie. What's up, boys? I'll be they're just sitting there in the box, like, all these four dudes, like, in this locked-up area. That's kind of sus. Oh, it's like that. Dead. Huh, fancy move. We completed a fancy move. Use dirt, sand, ashes to the fire, clean your pots, fans. You camping? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Back in the day, throw in some, some uh, creek or river gravel in there, get some of the stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That was just because that's where you're at, right? You, you weren't living there all the time. I, you know what? I look back at that and say, oh, how'd they get by? But you know what? People were really, like, there's a lot of ingenuity back then. Sure, it's not as, as good like as it is now, maybe, but, like, they, they were able to get shit done, you know? We got here. Ooh, more treasure. Oh. Don't mind if I do. I miss camping. I haven't really done like some camping camp in a while. Well, was there another 
No, there wasn't. Oh, I heard, like, the twinkle sound. Oh, that guy's hat. Too bad. Hello? Yeah, it's gonna be you, sir. <laughs> Something's happening. My camera. There's <laughs> not enough room for the camera to really work here in such a small, confined space. But you know, we made it work. Oh, I, have to, I can't move. No, I don't want to carry. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. This is a first go for a little ride. Yeet. Oh wow! We actually tossed her on the other side. Nice. Oh, this guy has no clue. Got him, coach. For a train, there's not like really a lot of cargo that I could use, but. Nice. Yeah, very well. So we got our money. Let's. Oh, we got a mission right here. Let's do it. Why not? So actually, let's let's go over here, get filled up, and we'll do that mission. Sounds like a plan. See ya. Oh, nice. We even got more stuff for it. Sweet. 3,000. Nice. Now we got money again. We're back in the money, baby. Remember when we started? We're broke as fuck. <laughs> Love it. We're in the money. How's the rest of that song go? I think that's the only line people know. We're in the money. I don't know the rest of the words of the song. Uh, refill all. Zero dollar. Hey, we're full. Beautiful. Do come back again. I think I may, sir. See, it's a good thing we conquered this area because we can just walk around here without too many problems. It's definitely worth putting that time in. Give me the item. Ooh, that's actually a lot of shit that kid gave me. Nice. Evie and Jacob visit Bell in his laboratory to continue the fight against Starak and his control of the press. Cool. We're in the money. So, Marx, Alexander Graham Bell, and there was the other. Who was it? Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. What? Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrett keeps sending around to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Like what? Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant. Should they need a rise? How is that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. Oh, we can't have we that. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. Um, the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Yeah, facts. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, you never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, okay. Take what? the bombs and climb onto the roof. Oh, nice! When yes, I see yes. The name of uh, a fruit. Toss one near the thugs. Let's do it. I like this. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait. Uh, I nearly forgot. Um. Slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. I, think. <laughs> I just like the idea of like him saying fruit words, and we just dropping shit on these guys who have no clue. He's a troll. Alexander Graham Bell is a fucking troll, man. We never knew at all. This is great. I love it. This is going to be good. 
Now, there's a treasure chest. I can hear it, but we just we gotta do the mission here. Good day, gentlemen. Well, I would ask you a new tea, because I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them telly what's it's in here, ain't ya? And you've been reading messages from the Steric Company. Us? That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? <laughs> Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn pear shaped. <laughs> That looks pretty nasty, actually. Fart bomb. Oh, kids, eh? Those playful young scamps get everywhere. Listen up, Belle, or I'll thump you till your ears are ringing. Ooh, a pun. Your wordplay delights me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkeys, apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, <laughs> no one, Bill. You little sod. <laughs> oh, ain't me, Bez. Oh, go fly me, it's got me frown. What's up, Pandy? Good to see ya. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. <laughs> yeah, we're little rascals. How you been, Pandy? Right. Tell us where you keep that telly what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well. Let's see how far you get. <laughs> One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. There you go. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Wait, what? <laughs> well, bless my boots. You're as purple as a plum. <laughs> a plum? I feel all wobbly, Baz. <laughs> you are in shock, my dear fellow. <laughs> but what'd you say? I'm here for ya! Oh. I'm just busy wrecking this guy. Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, that's fun. Your new presence gave me courage and resolve. I never knew I had. He's got the hots for her. You know he does. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. That was fun. We got to drop stink bombs and shit on him. That was great. How you been, Panny? What have you been up to? Stephanie so was telling me about how you guys had a little bit of a like a, a a puzzle thing there for a while. And you were doing like a ton of puzzles and stuff? Sounded pretty fun. Come on, we haven't got all day. Alright, shit. <laughs> The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken now, the Now, are they going to chase us? ...about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. All right. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that soothing cell? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No. 
Wasn't you picked the puzzle and she did it all. False information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. <laughs> but if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such Hopefully the volume uh, is good for the voice acting you'll see here. The truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected, Mike. Ah, oh, shit. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. <laughs> He's gonna make him do a pee-pee dance is what he basically said. Slow down. There we go. Yo, we're like the freaking Neo in the Matrix over here. Oh, this sucks. I stunned them like the body. That's alright, we got this. Nice, I got some of my team to help out. There we go. So I stunned them, but it didn't really do much. I'm only down to one bomb, so. What a beautiful machine. That it's been soiled by corrupt minds. Yeah, you tell him, uh, Bell. Hope the guards don't come patrolling. What's up, boys? Oh my god, you guys suck. Got you, you little bugger. We'll have to cross over here. Alright, let's do it. We got this. Don't mind us. I see. This is becoming rather perilous to say the least. Oh. How come I can't hurt them? That was kind of annoying, like, but while they were stunned, I shouldn't be able to. Shit. Ah. Damn it! I, that's why I hate escort missions, man. Oh, now that person dies. <laughs> but when I had them stunned, how come I couldn't just kill them? That's the annoying thing. That's weird. But, it's alright, we got, we got this. We got this. It almost happened to Marx too, actually, when we were doing the Karl Marx mission. That's okay, though. Let's try this again, shall we? Gentlemen. So simple. So simple. I didn't even... Oh, I guess I fucked up the mission. Damn it. Oh, well. Because last time I didn't really do anything. So I wonder if I do it to these guards. Let's find out. See, well, I can't attack this person. Let's do it. Move it. It's 
So instead of letting them get to him, I'm just gonna get him right where they come down the stairs. Simple. Sorry, kiddos. Did you say golly gosh? Oh, there we go. Now I can get it. I kind of used all my bombs, but worth it. Move faster if you can. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, I thought we were going upstairs. I see. This is becoming rather perilous to say the least. Smoke bombs are still very useful. There we go. Beautiful. Not a problem at all. Nice little uh, violin ditty there. While we were brutally taking out those people. My dears. Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. Hear, hear. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. Sacks full? Besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Okay. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. Weird. It sucks that it had to be those two thugs, you know? Oh well. I think I'm going to use those bombs fairly regularly. I like this. I like these. Very nice. All right, what are we doing next here? The assassin mission? The lady with the lamp. Ooh, you know what? I mean, fuck it. Why not? We're already in this area. Let's fast travel. Let's get it. A lot of the previous episodes, we did a lot of side stuff. I think, like, so far, we're really doing a bunch of story things here, which is good. Push the story along a little bit, right? I mean, the, the title of the stream is The Templars Are Not Safe in London. So we gotta make good on that claim. That's what we're here to do, man. That's what we are here to do. A swell mobsman was a well-dressed pickpocket who worked in place of public entertainment. A rampsman was a burglar, drummer, drugged his victim, a sell. A showful man made a counterfeit coin. So weird nicknames for some of these people. There's ne'er dwellers. Okay. A lot of treasure chests. I like it. Let's head over here. After our leap of faith, yeet. Bop. Now we gotta run around the whole darn place, but that's eh, okay. It's a nice day. Up in the sky. Like it's a nice actual autumn day here in, in London. Very nice. All right. What does this mission entail? The lady with the lamp. Evie visits Lambeth after Jacob's assassination of Dr. Elliotson. Oh, okay, okay. That was last episode we did that mission. All right. Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. A usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, miss. No, she's Clara. not. Oh, fuck. 
Poor girl. Is there a doctor nearby? Dude, there's no one here. They're closing. Bring her inside. Okay, I thought this place was closing. What the hell? She simply collapsed. Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. Oh, shit. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. We what do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. Well, we got money. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please Florence Nightingale? No fucking way! What? This game is packed to the tits with historical figures. What? I, I, I mean, I don't have time to I go over top. No. Okay, gotta go around. Hold up. Let's... Like, this is crazy. Florence fucking Nightingale? I, I, I'll i spend the money for the kids, absolutely. I'm just still blown away. We have Alexander Graham Bell, we have Karl Marx, we have uh, Dickens, I think. And now Florence flipping Nightingale? Wow, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Like, that's, that's so cool. Hey, Quantum, good to see you on the stream. How you doing? I just learned for the very first time that Florence Flippin' Nightingale is one of the historical characters in this game. It's crazy. Hope your night's going well, by the way. This guy has no clue. Well, uh, there we go. Might as well grab a little something for ourselves, right? Quantum, have you played any of the Assassin's Creed games before? Alright, back up we go. Just back this up. There we go. Oh shit, he was like, oh, that! Right through the middle. Oh, I don't care, sorry. Claire will die if the asylum's not reaching time. Thanks, I appreciate that. I kind of, the game's like totally like stressing me out on purpose. Like, yo, you know that girl's gonna die, right? You gotta be faster, right? Like, fuck off, dude. I'm already stressed out by this. Yeah, Quantum is my first uh, experience playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We're on episode That's 7 tonight. Wait, is this not the dude? It's not the dude. Oh, shit. Here we go. Dude, you're supposed to... I got you. Nice, you shot the dude. There you go. Need your help, brother. Thank you enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Absolutely. You mean are you cart? fucking kidding yes. me? Of Killing me? Kidding me? I like that some of those items are fragile. Hmm. Uh. 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 All right, let's go. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
But yeah, come on, so we're having a blast with this game, man. I'm absolutely enjoying this shit the hell out of it. We've got four minutes to take this guy out, get the shit back. Now, I can't rustle it. They said it's very... <clears throat> What's the word I'm looking for? Um... Here we go. Holy shit, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. We're going the wrong way here. We've got to do a hair thing. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Whoa, get wrecked, buddy. <laughs> I don't know where the rest of those guys went. Oh shit, we're going head on right now. See ya! Flip out of here, man. <laughs> That's great. Easy now. That's it. Ooh, made it. Nice. There you go. Got it. You're back. And not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. No, I'm... How is she? Oof. She will recover. Pablonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? Mm. I will petition to have regulations put in place. Okay. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Nice, we got all the, the sub things done too. That's fantastic. All right. <coughs> so Florence Nightingale is in this game. Like, are they going to surprise us with anyone else in this game? Holy crap, this is great. Loving it. Stealth kill messenger? Ah, oh, I never get these done. I don't think I did it. I just killed these guys. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Alright, what do we got going on next here? We already got uh, the gang leader. We own this spot. Spot the tot. Uh, this is a friendly competition. Alright, I like a little friendly competition. Why don't we do a little fast travel and go check out that competition. I like it. What's up, Dom? Nice to average. Yeah, there's <laughs> just a ton of bad dudes. But I think it's the same in any time. We just... I don't know. Because how would you ca catch people back in this age? Like, you can see how many people we stealth kill randomly. We're totally that knife person, stab your stab, stab. Like, Jack the Ripper wish he had something on us. <laughs> Sheesh. How, how you doing, Dom, by the way? Good to see you on the stream. Thanks for popping in. Cheers to you. Have you played any of the Assassin's Creed games by any chance? All right, we should probably check our skills list too. We probably, I know we've gotten a couple of skills since we started. So let's uh, jump on that train and so we can increase our capabilities. But first we must leap of faith. Bop. The magical crates of leaves. Stacks of leaves, stacks of hay. It's just been a thing since like the medieval times for assassins, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's there every game. It's amazing how that works out. Not what I want to do. Wrong one. Uh, let's actually fill the pop here first. Pardon me. Now, let's actually skills to pay the bills. Alright, we got seven skills. Ah, uh, Intimidation, eh. So, Execute 2 is worth 4. Uh, combat Stamina. Regenerates health. That's kind of cool. What else we got here? Um, 
Chameleon. In sneak mode, Edie's invisible while stationary? That's freaking cool. Her skills as a master assassin allow her to blend into her surroundings and seemingly disappear. Only enemies in close proximity will be able to detect her. That's so cool. I might just grab that, though. What? So that's Jacob. And this is Evie, right? Yeah. Knife Master 2. Evie can carry twice as many throwing knives. Her knives also inflict significantly more damage. Nice. What's this? Stealth 3. Okay. Pretty cool. Hold on. What's this one? First Strike 2. Possibly killing the enemy outright? Just passing by. Hey, man. Thanks for popping by. I'm glad to see you. Have a great day tomorrow and an even better sleep. All right. Take care, bro. Appreciate you. Gunslinger. Mm. Well, you know what? I think this one is really fucking cool. But we have seven, four, and four. We're going to go four and two. Let's do four and two as much. Uh, no, you know, I, I can't. It's just too fucking cool. It's just too cool. All right, gang upgrades. What can we do here? I want more money. This is worth it. Worth it. Gets more money quicker. Now, what's this one? 20k. Buy local shops, increase the train. How can I buy? Uh, okay, cool. There we go. So, the rest is I can't really do right now, which is fine. All right, crafting. This is worth it, I think. Ooh, I want that, but you know, we only got, only got enough money for this. Done. That makes our medicine so much better. We got some good upgrades there. So cool! So cool. Kill criminals? Easy. Oh, you already killed the guy? Well, that sucks. Goes around, comes around, sir. There we go. Yeah, what a thief that guy was. <laughs> oh no, I can't up here much stuff. Yeah, that's great stealth. Uh, refill all. We're full. Good, because I don't have any money. I've always got time for you. Oh, he's already he's always got time for me. He's so cute. Okay. Friendly competition. Let's get it. Give up that easily. What else can we do? Dead people in the wet streets, man. Sheesh. Miss Fry. Good day. Good day. And good day to you. All right, what's the, oh shit, that's not good at all. What happened here? Sup? Jacob introduced himself to Pearl Attaway, chief competitor to Sterics Omnibus Company, owned by Malcolm Milner. Ooh. May the devil take them. We need to get some playtime for Jacob anyway. Poor guy's been missing out. You know, he's a little, a little bit of a cocky prick. But he's still good. He's still good people. A little bit of a dick. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Hmm. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Hmm. 
truer words were never spoken. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, yo, ho, ho. don't get jumped to conclusions here, miss. If okay. you'd be so kind as to take the reins. I like her color coordination. She's rocking the I've purple really well. Against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the killer type. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. <laughs> what then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that would benefit us both. Such as? Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Starrick. I have worked like a troop to make Atway transport what it is today. I will not allow anyone to bring me to ruin. Well, she loves her business, that's for sure. And good on her. That's one of Milner's. Well then, let's go for a ride, shall we? Off like that? Well, you're gonna have to. Get away from my bus. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up to so him, I can't kill him. I can't catch him. Wise man, report to the storage yard tonight for a special task. Forbes. All right. Move it. Slow down now. All right. Malcolm Milner, Starrick's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! <laughs> this park scene needs to make it to the Outway Depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> Yo, she's Milner's willing to just... She's getting him. her hands dirty, man. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. Okay, she's, she knows when to... Ha, you know, get out of the way. Oh, look. Some of my gang are right over there. <laughs> now, before we do... We need to upgrade Jacob's skills. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. We have 11 to work with. I like that one. Yay, level seven. Hmm. Dude, automatic headshots? That sounds dope. I like defense three. But I also like the stealth. Because Jacob doesn't have like a lot of the stealth stuff right now. Let's get him some stealth action here. So we have five left. Let's go with the defense. Uh, Jacob, his options are a little bit more tank-ish if we're looking at it. So, okay. Hold on, upgrades. We already have that, okay. And we don't have that much money, so let's just go with it right now with what we got. I wonder if they want a penny. Tell me something. They opened a new pie shop on Fleet Street. Ha! Brave move, considering what happened to the last one. Okay, so we gotta light those things up. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a nice little way in, right? Well, I guess we have to climb and cause some problems. Hold on. Please don't come after us. Damn it! He, they are. Miss me. Oh, my poor guy's getting fucked up. Got this. Oh yeah? You'll be singing a different tune, John. There we are. Uh, heave ho, Jacob. <laughs> Time to start some fireworks. Time to go boom. Too bad our guys died for this, but oh. primed and ready. Oh, can I do I shoot it or do I, do I just I hit circle here? Oh, okay. I thought I could just shoot it. Time to go. See ya. Is that going to kill me from there? Beautiful. Mwah. She's so happy. Look at her. <laughs> How's that for a taste? I can see Milner's stock price plummeting already. You're hired. Though I have more business planned for us both. Okay. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall review the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Oh, Jacob, what, what have you got yourself into? <laughs> He's like, fuck, I got played, man. <laughs> Very nice. We got a bold eagle kukri. Not a bald eagle kukri, a bold eagle kukri. Perfect. Let's see if it's actually going to help us or not. I think we got some money. Alright. Um inventory. So that's Henry's Kukri. Assassin Kukri. Gold Blessing Kukri. There it is. No, Master Sat no, no. Where's the one that we did? Eagle Splendor. Where's the bold eagle one? Is it like a piece of shit or what? Uh, I'm kind of annoyed. Is it like a shittier one? That sucks. It is. It's like, bro, why? <laughs> so what's the one you get? Level 7, right? Uh, gold Blessing. And that's a plus 1. And without an upgrade, so done. There we go. The I love gold! Firearms. Um, I don't need to upgrade. I'm just going to use it. M1877 Thunderer. Kaboom, baby. Belts. Let's see. How, um... oh, okay, there's not much we're really able to do here. Alright. Outfits. It doesn't make sense to switch this, right? We own Edwards. But, like, it increases all of our shit, so. Not worth it. Here are two upgrades. Oh, okay. Blah. <laughs> We're so broke. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Where are we going next? What's next on our list? 
Research and development. Sounds fun. I'm all, always down for a little R&D. Let me hit this on the way. Let's go. Yeah, we haven't played as Jacob for that much over the last two episodes. So I think it's time to give him a little bit more spotlight. As much as I do enjoy playing ZV. Sometimes a stroll down the muddy streets of London just calm me down. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, refill all. Thank you. There we go. We'll be feasting tonight. We will. Will we? I don't know. You took all my money, so are you buying or what, sir? <laughs> If he's buying, then, then okay, that sounds good, but if not... Oh, there's a little thing up there. Let's, let, let's just get the little now thing. Was that out? Uh, hello? How did we get up there, though? Annoying. There we go. I'm really annoyed. Aha! There we are. Took a couple tries to figure it out, but we got this. There we are. Ooh, that gave us a skill point. How oh, very fun. Alright. The mission. It's uh, the mission. There's a treasure chest right over here, and I need money. So this was made for me. It's here. There it is. Pop. Nice. 770 pounds? Are you flipping kidding me? Who just leaves their shit around like that? I'm telling you. Because I want to give them a high five. I mean, I need this. <laughs> You need the money. Whoa, shit. Another one. The fuck is yelling like that? Jeez, calm down. Okay, how far is this place? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. I'm starting to worry. I'm like, are we actually getting close where we gotta go here or what? I would think that would just tear up your hands. Like, it would just tear them apart in these chunks. Uh, after you're trying to slide on that cable. It looks like we have leather on one arm, which is fine, but the other one, not so much. Like, how they built this back then is crazy to me. Absolutely nuts. Is it on the move? I feel like it is. It fucking is, bro. Okay. Let's go. No, 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 go. Go! Oh. Ah. Thank goodness people aren't, like, riding fast. <laughs> Sir? Talk to you about your carriage's optional warranty. <laughs> huh. That was a tough chase down. Sheesh. Okay. As soon as it starts, I just, I just want to get a drink refill so we can... Get right into this with a non parched throat. Oh, I have to chase her down, that's why. Mr. Fry, 
I told you to make an appointment. Bitch, you My don't make the rules. Open. You're fortunate I like you. Oh, you're fortunate I helped you. Don't give me attitude after that. Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Mm. I'll need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry. You're fortunate I like you. Hey, the flip! Oh, I love that flip! Atta boy, Jacob. Oh, yes. Don't get fucking pushed around by this. Yes! Oh, that was... That was perfect. Oh. It's okay to be cocky to a point. It's okay to have confidence. But as soon as you start turning into a dick with it... Mm. Ah, that was great. Yes, Stephanie, she wants this. She, she's like... It's one of those things where it's like... She's totally into business. Like, that is her primary thing. She's not... It's not a, I want to get involved with this guy, but it's like, I'm into a fling. Yeah, okay. That type of thing, you know what I mean? All right, just going to get a quick drink refill. Feel free to do the same. Any drink stacks you got going on? We'll see you on the other side in about a moment. Appreciate you. All righty. Apologies for my chair sounding like... <laughs> All right. Let's go get another train. Is it like that guy in Jaws? We're gonna need a bigger boat. We're gonna need a secondary train. Not kill a single policeman in the convoy. That's a tough ask though. That's a tough ask, man. <coughs> that's a tough, that's a tough ask. Like, d does the game know who we are? Jacob freaking Fry over here. What? Dude, look at that bike. There's a gear right here. What does that even mean? Oh, it's a pressed flower. Very nice. Very nice. I knew those blighters were more the order. I feel like this is another moving train, right? It's gotta be. Don't start a problem, sir. I'm on a mission. How do I free him? Shit. God damn it! I got the slowest freaking thing here, man. It's like, dude, how am I not gonna kill these cops, bro? I don't wanna do it. But there's no way to, like... The other option was what? Like, they're gonna see me. It's causing problems everywhere here. I'm not a fan of this right now. Shit. Oh, you son of a bitch! They faked me out! And all of these guys are going the wrong way. That guy. Let's 
guy right here. Time to go. Like, I'm trying not to kill them, but... Stop it, Jacob. You got this, bro. Let's go. I got it. I didn't want to kill any of the cops, man. Hmm. Ned. So, what do you want, Fry? What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Why is, like, Ned seemed, like, kind of down, like, what do you want? It's like, dude, we've been doing business already. Like, what? I what? feel like they kind of, maybe Ned was just kind of feeling like shit that they were caught. I don't know. Thanks, Stephanie. I, I felt good about that, trying to not kill law enforcement. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him help. There we go. We don't have all day. The cats are with the wagons, okay. Anyway, good night. There we go. Attach to these two. What's up? You guys got no shot. Wait, what? It's have to reinforce the wagons. Oh, okay. So it's not just a wagon, it's special wagons. Alright. Not what I'm off. Let's detach everything. Love that one. That one's sick. Bonky bonk. Here we go. All right. Maybe this is a reinforcement wagon. It's very reinforced. There it is. Okay. Nope. I don't want to do it. There we go. <laughs> See ya. Wait, we have to defend someone? Oh, that's us. Okay. Oh my god, you guys are clueless. Oh, uh, what? Bro. I guess once I found the thing, I had to go back to the other train. I got I got too too bloodthirsty, I guess. <laughs> I got too into the mission, I suppose. Which doesn't make sense because if I was into the mission, I would have followed the, the, the mission better. 
What's uh, Ginger gonna do, huh? Come on, Jacob, do better. That's all right. That's one of those like live and learn ones. It's like, okay, now I know what's gonna happen. I gotta do this, this, and that. So fine. The game's got to keep us in check somehow, right? <laughs> Did you need to follow the rules? <laughs> Only the good ones, Stephanie. Only the good ones. <laughs> Oh, we have to do this again? Ah. Alright, well, at least it's, it doesn't seem difficult. It's not that hard. It's just... Yeah. I, I wish our train would actually, like, catch up. What? Okay, yeah. I'll you It's like that? You're going off the train, lady. Miss me. You're going off the train too, sir. Oh, he just did a fucking... Whoop, 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 whoop. See ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's still here. Never mind. I lied. Let me loot, please. Yeah, but nice. Okay, here we go. I like the fact that the train is going on the tracks around London, and we're going through like the different areas. Like that's some that's impressive shit. That's like Uncharted Two shit with the train level. Like that's really cool to me. That's really cool. Good. I waste a lot of knives there, but it was fun. Now, can I get my shit back? That'd be great. Yeah. I hate throwing knives for him, but I put like two into him. The hell, bro. It's not giving me none of my shit back. I am disappointed in you. Not what I'm after. See, now I know what the reinforcements are too, so. Bonk! Ah. Well, at least I got someone throwing knives back. That helped. One. found it now just this and then we're not gonna go any further we're gonna get back on our train no oh shit <laughs> that was so scary oh to that oh no I touched the cargo wagon shit all right, come on, train. You do it, Captain. Conductor, not Captain. Oh, big boy jump. We got this. Okay. Bitch. Okay, we did that. Fen Ned. Okay, I should be able to catch up to this train, though. Perfect. All right, Ned, I got you. I got you. See, I wasn't following the rules. All right, boys and girls, you know what to do. Yes, defend Ned.
The music is appropriate. I just still feel it's the worst soundtrack in all the Assassin's Creed games so far. It's appropriate. It fits. But it's not that good. The internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. And what is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? We Sorry, Ned. all the same. Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? Why, are you jealous, Ned? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. That's right. Hands off, Ned. You're getting paid. And we saved your ass, so... There we go. Cane Sword Sir LeMay's Cane. We gotta check that out. I'm excited for this. I do like the cane as a weapon more than the kukri. The kukri's cool, don't get me wrong. But it's just a knife. Like, the cane sword is not only deadly, but it's fashionable. Like, high class. I get beaten up with a, like, a dude. Like, you get pimp cane across the face. Like, shit. You're ragdoll with a pimp cane? Sheesh. <laughs> now, to be fair, that's never happened to me. And think, uh, pray uh, it never does. I should never be, I'll never be in a situation where that would be a thing. <clears throat> like, what do you do with your life if you get freaking. Him chain slapped. I hope I didn't make it too, laddie da. Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I posted the lot. And who do you like the lampshades? Aw, she's upgrading. Oh, there she, there's our girl. Yay. She's safe and, and, and recovered. That's great. Cool. So we've upgraded our, our train base. Fashionable weapon, Stephanie. Absolutely. Very fashionable. One of the most unique weapons so far in the Assassin's Creed series. I love it. I think it's great. It's fan flipping tastic. We need more of them. All right, let's check our Atlanta. money. For me. Okay, we got some money there. Good to do, Hondo. A letter for me. All right, hold up, hold up. Before we do anything, let's check out Sir Lemay's cane. Obsidian lion cane sword. That looks badass. Where's Sir LeMay's cane? Make it good. Have to be level 8? Well, fuck. Maybe I got, like, too leveled up, so now I'm getting all this shit. It's not good anymore. Where's Sir LeMay's cane? Oh, yeah, dude. Like, it go no, I can't do that. I want to, but I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a thing right now. I'm not gonna do it. It says I can grab this, but why would I do that, though? But look at the stats I would lose. Yeesh. Well, I'm gonna stick with my my thunderer. Feel the lightning and the thunder. What's this? Lower stealth. Lower. No. Like, bro. Fuck no. Sheesh. Colors doesn't matter. Gang upgrades. Can we upgrade the gang? What's this do? Mad science. Unlock the first voltage bow upgrade. Visit the crafting as you use the new plan. Sure. Why not? Am I overpowered now? I, no. Because if we go to like some of the other boroughs that's like minimum level 8 and 9, I get wrecked. Probably. Probably absolutely destroyed. So, we're like big fish in a little pond right now. Big fish in a little pond. We're doing all these story missions. Here, I'll show you. Let's get this. Let's get this. Mad science acquired. So, we have a crafting menu. Let's go to crafting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gear up Oh, better uh, Voltaic Bomb Pouch. Sweet, we can do it too. Increase the operational range? Shit. Medium Bomb Pouch capacity. Oh, large. <gasps> oh, I want it, Daddy. Fuck, these are all good. Damn. Oh, God. I'm going to use these more. I'm going to use them more. Yeah, we're going to use them more. We're broke again, folks. We're, we're fucking broke as shit. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's for good use. But yeah, Stephanie, if we look at, like, we're big fish in a pond. Like, check this, right? As soon as I want to go over to the strand, 
like, I need to be level 7 for this shit. Level 7, level 8. And this is all level 9 shit. Level 8, level 9 shit. So we're not ready to go there. That's why I'm doing all these other missions here, so I can level up, upgrade and shit. Yeah, broke again, such is life. It's like, oh, it's payday! And the next day we're like, oh, fuck, we paid all our bills. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, uh, see, here's a mission. Let's do that. Survival of the fittest. Let's go. Black leather gauntlet. Ooh. We're going to those types of gatherings, are we? All right. A little bit of fun, shall we? Oh, and yo, there's a boat raid right here for $2,400. Let's fucking go. I can get out of here on time. No, we're, I can't get out of here fast enough. Hold on, what's this? Access gang upgrades. Oh, no, we're good. We, we already upgraded the gang, man. The boys. The boys are good. The boys are great. They're fantastic. Okay, we're not going for the boat thing anymore. <laughs> There's no fast travel near it anyway either, so flip that. Um, let's go over. Uh, yeah. Oh, fast travel right here. We hit this up. 3,000 pounds. Mm-hmm. So this level 7? I think we're level 7, aren't we? Ah, fuck it. Let's find out. Let's fuck around and find out. Such is life. <sighs> so she's life. You're looking French. So she's life. Fuck it. <laughs> Such is life. Fuck it. Let's fuck. Oh, God. Uh, actually, that's a Robin Williams. Oh, that's a Robin Williams bit from one of the stand-up where he goes, "Some about French." He's like, "So much like life, fuck it," or something like that. I don't know, but oh god, man, I miss Robin Williams. Ah, oh, so much. That man. That man. Okay, so. Aw, oh, shit. We're going to go after it. Spoosh. Look at this guy. He's just chilling. Oh, I... <laughs> like, we're going... Like, this is crazy. I love being able to, like, go through the games and all that stuff. Nope. Well, I feel like it's not really true to form. That the Thames had all of these things. I can't do that. Show me what you got. So what I got? A bad aim is what I got. See ya! Bitch. Okay, we only got a limited amount of time. I gotta watch out here. Bitch. Oh, yes! Anything that throws him off the boat, I'm here for it. Slide! Oh, is this the magic man right here? Gentlemen. See ya! Oh, he had to whistle. What is going on here? I'm not saying shit. Bitch. Now, that sucks if I can't steal shit now. Fuck. Headshot. Boom! Headshot. All right, we got two minutes here. Let's go. Got assassin logo. Love it. Let's go. Uh, so we have to kill a lot of people, and we have to mark a lot of shit. Oh, there's a dude over there. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Half the journey's done. Yikes. Still have to mark two more and maybe kill a dude. Uh, 
I'm not gonna fight that guy. Fuck him. He's clueless. You know what? It's your lucky day, sir. It's like uh, Anton Chigurh in No Country for Old Men and the coin toss. And he's at the gas station for the old man. What's the most you've ever lost in a coin toss? Sir? What's the most you've ever lost in a coin toss? That's... Fuck that. I forget the name. It's, it's, it's Adele Toro who plays that, isn't it? Who plays uh, Anton Sugar? That guy, that character, that actor made that shit so intense. Like, he legitimately felt fucking scared for those people. Like, it was insane. Such good acting in that movie. No Country for Old Men. Good movie. Good ball, boss. Thank you, boys. Ha, <laughs> that's so metal. So chemical. Okay, where are we going? Eh, we got the next mission here. Is there anything else down here? No, there's not really. There's just a small shit. There's our train right now. So, I think we're going to go right here. And we have a fast travel right here. Done. Let's go. This game is just... It's so easy to go to and from missions. Like, I know some people don't like Syndicate. I, I just find it easy to get into. I find it easy to play. I'm just... There's so many things they're doing right here. And nothing... I, I can't... Like, nothing to take away from Unity at all. Unity was good. I don't know, man. I just... The words, I don't have them. But why I like this, so... Considering we'll be taking at least a one uh, stream rotation break from the Assassin's Creed series after we do this one, this is a great one to take a break on. Like, this is... Oh, man. Ubisoft, for me, they did good on this. A lot of reasons to shit on Ubisoft, but this is not one of them, in my opinion. Not in my opinion. I'll give credit where it is due. Um, We are going over... Oh. How come I didn't fast travel here? What the flip am I thinking? But now it's going to take too much of a long time to do that. So, if... actually, no, it's not. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, so annoying. Um, the combat is so easy to pick up on, and it's so diverse, the different options you do. The fact that you can even have combos. It's not just button mashing. You can throw in combos into that shit with your uh, stun items and your lethal items. It's fantastic. And there's so many things to do. And it's things that you want to do. Like, there's good reason to do it. It's not like, oh, there's lots of things you can do in the game. It's like, but why the fuck would I want to? The, there's so many open world games that I'll, that I'll see or I'll play. It's like, you can do so many things. But what's the point? Why do I want to waste my time doing that? A game is doing a great fucking job when there's a reason for you to want to do it and it doesn't feel repetitive and grindy. Even though, let's be fair, it's repetitive. There's a lot of repetition in this. But if you compare this repetition to Assassin's Creed 1 repetition, like Assassin's Creed 1 repetition was like, damn, it's like the same three fucking things 20 times over throughout the game. It's the same thing here, but the other parts of the game, the way the combat works, all the options we have, the way the enemies interact with you, the controls, it, I don't know, man, it just makes it easy to do. And therefore it's fun, even though it is repetitive. Right? And even in, in the repetition, there's still some random shit that happens which makes it even more funny. Right? So, okay. There's the, the spot that's hot. Let's pop over to the shop. And we'll do the Survival of the Fittest. Survival of the Fittest. So that's a song. Who sings that? Oh. It's like an alternative or a rock song. Survival of the Fittest. Fuck. Now my now I'm intrigued. I don't have ADHD, but I can see why my daughter has it. Cause fuck, I'm like, oh look, let's do this. Oh, let's go off topic here. Shit. And the weird thing is, <laughs> outside of this, like during my professional, like when people get off tracks, like okay, let's bring it back. Let's fucking you know, uh, survival of the fuck. 
<laughs> Survival of the fuck. <laughs> Let's not go down that road. Of the fittest. Fittest. Song. Who is that? Mob Deep and Sick of It All? Okay, so there's an R&B song. I thought that was an alternative song. Really? It's Okay, Mob Deep? No, there's like a... I'm sure it's a great song by Mob Deep. Mob Deep's a great artist. Great, great music library, but... Rock song. I'm going to do rock song. I swear to God. There's a rock or an alternative version. Havoc and Prodigy. So Mob Deep is in that. What? Okay, now I gotta do this. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm hijacking my own stream. Mob Deep from the sound of the infamous. Oh! Composers Havoc and Prodigy. Hold up. I gotta do it. I got the... I have to check out that song later. It's not the one I remember. Oh well, let's let's move on. <clears throat> okay, where are we going? What are we doing? Oh yes, we're going over there. <laughs> see, told you. I can see why my daughter has ADHD. I I, I don't. Like, uh... Oh shit! <laughs> I legit thought we were ending it all. Jacob Fry said, "Fuck life. I'm just gonna do a swan dive into a boat." That's crazy. <laughs> I wish there was an animation for that. That would have been so fucking cool if Ubisoft had put an animation in where you do the swan dive off a boat and you land on the deck of another boat and it's like a, like you lose almost all your health. You almost die by face planting another boat. That'd be fucking sick. Oh my gosh, that would have been hilarious. <clears throat> Jacob, get down. Thank you. Yeah, that... Oh, man, that would have been goaded. Straight up. Up the stairs. Let's... Like proper gentlemen. Oh, Stephanie, it would have been so funny. I remember, like, episode one or two, we almost did that, too. It was great. Fuck, $1,300? I already got the black market from my gang shit, don't I? Hold up, what's our gang shit? Gang upgrades. Uh, no. 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 See, I got black market shit, though. Notoriety. Bad science. Bo oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yo, okay. I gotta get this one next. Yo, Shell Company sounds fucking savage. Oh, yo, I gotta pay for this. Oh, wow, okay. Like, dude, there's so many options. Alright, let's go do the mission. Oh, it would have been in fucking YouTube short. It would have been YouTube quickie. It would have been on TikTok. Yes, I do have TikTok, but... Oh, don't do it. Oh, bitch. Finish him off! Oh, see, the combat is just so easy to do. And so it makes you want to do it. And the moves are, like, they're slick and... Oh, God. But yeah, I do have TikTok. For, for those of you who already follow on my YouTube, you've already seen the TikToks. But hey, we're on there just because it's good to have a presence. You know? Help the discovery rate. Shitty thing is actually... Uh, is that TikTok muted a bunch of my old TikToks, um, whereas YouTube just copyright claims them, but at least it doesn't mute them. So, anyway. But yeah, got TikTok, so just search Gamer Cam on TikTok, I'm there. And, uh, actually, the, the, the thing is, uh, any of my quickies, I usually post there before YouTube. Not by much, though. Like, maybe a day. But yeah, Steph, you can be sure I would have... Oh, man, I would have edited the shit out of that. And it would have been worth it. So, oh, God. Just for my own entertainment. Just for my own entertainment. Oh, shit. She's in the cart again. Now she's going to get mad at us? 
You're lucky I like you, miss. Alright, what are we doing here? And you know much energy we got? Like, Henry Ford started that shit, didn't he, in America? So it got shipped over from the U.S. over here? Or were English people working on the internal combustion engine at the same time Jacob as Henry Ford? Darling. Oh, darling. We're, we're talking about. Cheers. To us in our business ventureship. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. Sweet. Back to business. Milner's fled to the Thames, occupied with securing his ferry. It's all he has left. Oh, too Milner bad it's gonna go soon. it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. She's <laughs> savage. Just kill him. That's not your first glass of champagne, is it? <laughs> Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Miss. Told Frack. you. I told you. That she's all business. And save a glass for me. See, the thing is, she probably thinks that Jacob's doing it because he's into her and wants a part of kind of her empire. So that's why she feels like she's in control. Whereas we know, as much as Jacob is charming and probably does enjoy female company, his ultimate goal is to fuck with Steric and the Templar Order. That's what his objective is. She has no clue about that. So she thinks... Oh, he's trying to get my favor and get in my pants and, and all that stuff. Where he's like, nah, I'm just here to fuck with Steric. And if you're part of that, hey, come on board. We'll work together. It'll be good. But that's all I need. Right? Interesting. The two points of view on that. Lucius, it's, it's just a kill mission. Oh, don't touch the river? Oh, no. That's tough. You know we're getting wet, man. Now, what would it take to draw out Steric's pawn? The sight of his fairies in flames, perhaps. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yo. Oh, hold up, hold up. We got. Uh, oh, yes, serenade me, sir. Serenade me. What's up, guys? They're all doing a dance. It's great. Uh, don't know what's happening here. Jacob, what are you doing, bro? Like, how, how far are we gonna go here? This is tough. It's it's gonna make us wait. It's the patience thing. This is tough. Oh, this is a bad one, too. Oh, this is who we want, though. Yeet! <laughs> See ya. Oh no. Big boy jump. No. See, I told you. I fucking told you. I don't have the patience for that shit. Like, I don't care. Like, that's a stupid challenge, man. That's a stupid challenge. Fuck that shit. No way. If I want to touch the shitty, gross River Thames, I will. to sink Milner's Enterprise. Not me. Don't come after me, sir. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Motherfucker's gonna do it, isn't he? Yeah, run over there. Go after him. Sabotage two contrabands at once? How do I do that? I don't know how I'm going to do that. There's no way. <laughs> ah, we'll just let him fight it out. Oh, I think I know how to do it. I think I know. We can use the, the nitro boxes. That's how. 
First, let's get all these guys to kill each other first. You guys are friends? Not for long. Oh, he's almost dead. What a waste. <laughs> Alright, well... Woo, headshot. Is there someone over here? Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was your face. <laughs> dude, this gun is great. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, check this out. Anyone alive? Nope. Oh, there is one alive, so we gotta do something about that. A couple alive. Not moving, sir. Actually. Damn it. That's gonna be slick. Boom, headshot. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. We are sticky snakes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, they're both fucked. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, don't get in that fight, bro. Oh, he's getting he's getting involved. I told him not to do it. There he goes, dumbass. Well, oh, I told him. He was the first guy to go. What do you mean the milk is spoiled tomorrow? <laughs> okay. So we have to sabotage two contrabands at once. Let's loot these guys first. Like, all these boats going by, no one's paying attention to any of this shit. Like, we're just committing mass murder here. No one gives a flying fornication what we're doing. <laughs> Alright, well, this is what it is. Okay. So, contraband is here. I can pick this up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There should be explosives around here. There they are. Okay, let's pick it up. I wonder how much grace they're going to give us. Hopefully that's close enough. Okay. There we go. Now. Here's the key. I like this one. Let's get closer, actually. Now, I have to ignite it and hold, then I think I run closer to shoot that one. That's what we're trying to do. Will we execute properly? Probably not. But it's going to be fucking funny no matter what. So, let's give it a try. Three, two, one, go. What? What? Yeah, see, dude, that's tough time. I couldn't even see it. So, the whole idea is you have to set it up properly, but fuck it, man. We tried. <laughs> and I told you, it probably won't happen. There's some Assassin's Creed pros out there be like, yeah, bro, you should have done it this way, this way, like, totally, like, chess it out. Like, nah, man, I'm just, I, I still got the time for that shit. I'm not the Assassin's Creed goat like some of y'all are. And I appreciate how good you are. It was all right, try Stephanie, but it could have been better. My effort could have been a uh, better. Could have planned it out better. I'm not a master assassin. I just saw. Oh, I get to blow things up. Gay. <laughs> you know, it's all good. It's all good fun. We tried. You know, we tried. 
did our best. What does Sean Connery say about doing our best? If you haven't seen The Rock, then you need to. Because if you've seen The Rock, you'll know. That. Losers always whine about their best. What Winners the go home and out. fuck the prom queen. That's Sean Connery for you right there. As I said, if you haven't seen The Rock, classic action movie, you gotta go see it. Oh, you asshole. I'm running. I'm, I'm going after Malcolm Milner. I'm a trespasser, nah, bro. Son. That was easy, he didn't even try to run. <laughs> you ever see that movie in a long time? Great movie. I knew this day would come. Mr. Starrett was furious, I lost the engines. So this is my comeuppance. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Pearl Attaway led me to you, not Starrick. Yep. Then they were gonna gather again. I should never have come between Mr. Starrick and Miss Attaway. No way, she's not. Family always stay together in the end. What? What do you mean they're family? No fucking way, we got played? What? We oh no. Oh, you thought I'm for Phil and I to have a real conversation. Yeah. This is not the Oh yes. Oh my god, that's sick. Like, see, the, the fighting she can do is a, so fucking cool! <gasps> Came out of my pants. Sorry, that's TMI. Sorry, went a little too far there. But God dang it! The fact that you can, like, do the combo shit, like... Ah! This is awesome. I don't care what anyone says about Syndicate. But yeah, the plot does thicken. And see, that's the... That, that in of itself, right there. The fact that we thought we were doing, oh, just regular missions for this girl because she wants to do better than Steric. Right? This has happened before. Oh, you want to fight? You gonna take care of me? Oh, buddy. Bad idea. Level 4, bitch. Oh, look at that shit, that's so good! <laughs> like, this is just fun. I still have the Batman co Why gotta do- Why, why gotta not be down, Stephanie? Why gotta not be down with that? I'm- I'm trying my best. <laughs> You're right, though. You are right, though. It's not the best. No way close. Hey, we're an assassin in, like, industrial fucking revolution London, all right? Cut me some slack. <laughs> oh, God. It's so fun, though. I couldn't do that in Unity. They didn't do, like, they didn't have these mechanics in Unity. And I liked Unity. Unity was a great game. Oh, but, like, like normally we thought we were doing, oh, hey, we're helping this person to beat part of Steric's operation. And they flipped it on us like that. Let's fucking go. Like, I love that. They got me doing this stuff. Like, I'm on the reaction channel. Although, I haven't done a reaction in a while. I gotta do something with that. <laughs> Hold up. Before we go, let's actually refill our stuff. We got a shop owner over here. That deserves our patronage. Look no further. There we go. Only 250 bucks? Don't mind if I do.
Yeah, that was fun. Was this Stephanie? Thank you. I appreciate that. And that's not me, like, with really good gameplay. That's the game making it easy to play, to pull this stuff off. Right? If there was more complex button combinations, yeah, sure, I could probably pull it off. It just wouldn't be... I don't know. It wouldn't be as fun because of the amount of fights we get into. Would it be more satisfying? Sure, because I have to do a more harder combo. But you know what? We're not... We're, everything's so re repetitive anyway. We want to be able to do these things quick and easy. And the developers allow us to do that. Right? So... That's what we want. Quick and easy. It was fun to watch every time. Uh, what, Unity or this one? Or both? Haha, <laughs> I hope. Oh, shit. Unless I, I'm sorry if I said another game. I'm my, my head's all over the place right now. We started late tonight, so I'm just like, I don't want to, let's talk about stuff. Please bear with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, we did it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, we gotta swim to that bucket. Hey, they got green light. I was gonna make a, like, a Roxanne police joke on um, the red light, but I couldn't piece it together, so I failed. There you are. What are you up to now, Pearl? Yeah, she went in the, the warehouse. The wholesale warehouse. Or should I say the horror sale warehouse? Nah. She's not like that. She's not like that. She uses her power and influence. She doesn't use her her body to do that, which is respectable. She's still like a double crosser and all that shit. But you know, I mean, Jacob tried to. Hey, 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 hey! Like I was talking about. Oh, she she didn't use her body, which is like a very uh, male thing to say about female powerful figures. Let's be fair, Jacob was kind of doing the charm thing, too. He was kind of doing the man-ho thing a little bit, too. So let's call a spade a spade. Guys can pull that shit, too, and they should be called out just as much as women are who do that. So, just to be fair, I'm even when it comes to that shit. Oh, Batman's crazy. Arkham Asylum, yes. I need to... I think a lot of people are waiting on the next Batman, like, Arkham series game we should put in the polls. I think that's a, a something we should take aside. But yeah, yeah, the, bar, the the Arkham combos are fucking nuts. And this guy has no nuts anymore. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah, just lay down, lay down. It'll be it'll feel better in a while, I hope. I don't know. It was fun to watch every time. I'm glad you gave me that feedback. Because um, the more, like, my regulars... I, I do like the polls, but when I see random suggestions, like, in conversation, Stephanie, especially from regulars, that leads a little bit of, like, I, I, I remember that. So, yeah. Anyway. Reach. Whoa, what the hell was that? He did, like, a bop, bop. Yo, you're not in the NFL, my guy. That would have been a great juke in the NFL, but we're, no. No, 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 sir, that's not you. The NFL doesn't exist yet, I don't think. When did the NFL start? I know the CFL started, like, like in the early 1900s. The CFL. Y'all can laugh about it, but whatever. The CFL is a good league. With our three-down football. Okay. Don't hate on us. Come on. Jacob, you can go on the wholesale sign, bro. You're a fucking assassin, dude. You, you're like, come, bro, I'm so disappointed in you. I'm I'm giving you the, the disappointed dad look right now. All right, Pearl. I was what's the tip? knew that I belonged to the order and was there to end me. Imagine my delight when he told me his true purpose: an assassin helping the Templar cause. Isn't that delicious? It's sickening. It's business, cousin. Look at the big picture. With Milner gone, I own the only omnibus company left in London. We already have a monopoly on English transportation. The moment your engines power my buses, we will be legends. That was my plan from the start with Milner. You forced my hand with your clever little train robbery. Crawford, I thought a reconciliation was in order. Do you have no happy memories of our childhood? Summers in Midford, you and I down by the brook 
Yo! This is a formal meeting, Poe. Your sentimentality is unbecoming. unbecoming. What happened at the brook, though? <laughs> I've had to hear that odious word dribble from men's lips all my life. Mm. Refusing to marry is unbecoming. Refusing to allow a man to conduct my affairs is unbecoming. How unfortunate that I didn't accept your hand in marriage all those years ago. How easy Cousins? things would be for you now. The omnibuses would be yours by right, and I would be at home, acting as hostess to your guests instead of standing here being so unbecoming. Can I, I, you know what, she's a villain here, but I want to give her a fucking hand clap. The truth, like, she, she's talking, she's spitting truth. At this time, it was all about women. Like, it switched over to, like, yo, women are at home. You take care of the kids. You attend house. You host the guests and all that stuff. She basically was happy to be unbecoming because she wanted to run her shit. She wanted to have her business, her enterprise. She wanted to be in control. And in this day and age, women doing that was like, oh, oh. Can't have that. Oh, God, no. And if you were a female who didn't want to marry and settle down, but instead want to blaze your own path in life, you were degraded. You were talked down about, no matter how successful you were in that industry. It happens today. It happens today. Now, she's a fucking bitch. But yes, Stephanie, she is a boss. She is a boss, and she's calling her cousin out. Can we talk about how fucking awkward that was, though, real quick? What happened down by the brook? Do we want to know? Do we want to know? And the fact that they're like, oh, what if we got married? What? No. It sucks because... Like, she's a boss with potential, but she's on the wrong side. God, man. This storyline, like, it keeps giving. Maybe not the best gifts, but fuck. Hmm. Let's uh, listen in a little bit more, shall we? It always ends this way with you, Pearl. I wish it were not so. Is he gonna kill her? No way, right? I have to reach her. I don't know if I want to reach her. Pause. You glower too much, cousin. You will get your engines back. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo, personally, to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Today and in all of our future endeavors, cousin. May he not guide his penis into her... Let's... Yeah. Waterloo Station. Poor Jacob, man. He got... Oh, fucking played so yeah this is a cousin affair it looks like there was some type of relations in the past currently not happening um wow definitely both templars i also liked remember how i talked about how i liked her purple attire scheme it, it, she wore it very well looked good on her and it was great purple is the color royalty as well so of course she saw herself as royalty the leader of her company the leader of her enterprise great that all makes sense he also had some purple on there as well. Kind of a cool little connection. He's a level two. <laughs> it's like, yo, babe, I'd, I'd be with you, but this guy, he's a level 10. <laughs> it's like you talk about people in like video game type terms. Like, yeah, I dumped him. He was level five. So my new boyfriend's like a level seven, you know, like, yeah, he's hot. He's level 7 hotness, and he's got great, like, his ab level is like a star right now. <laughs> oh, shit, I love it. Also, Stephanie said, uh, back when the women got married, the husband took all the women's assets. Yeah, man. Like, holy shit. Like, 
if I remember from my history, and I could be wrong on this, because it's been a long time since I, I looked into history. <laughs> like, a lot of civilizations were a matriarch, uh, matriarchal society. Um, and I'm not for totally patriarchal or matriarchal. I, I feel both have, um, both need each other to be successful. They play off each other's uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, but, like, it, at some point where it's matriarchal, it just went, like, bomb hard patriarchy. And, I mean, it's still, uh, in situations to this day, where I'm not, like, full left, like, hard left wing, like, propaganda shit. But I will, I, I mean, let's call it space bait. There's definitely places where women are still uh, talked down to, underprivileged, that people don't believe they have the same abilities in certain areas. Right? Um... When it comes to physical things, yeah, there's there's difference between men and women. That's 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 how it is. But there's other areas where women are not given the opportunity to show their abilities and skill and knowledge when they should. Right? I'm very I'm all about equality. Best person for the job should get the job. I don't care if you got tits, pussy, dick, balls, doesn't matter. If you are good at what you do. I want you in that position. As a pilot, as my doctor, as my surgeon, as my accountant. If I want the best person for the job. I don't care what's under your clothes. That's just me. And just give it a shove. Escape the area. Oh, oh, intrusion. oh intrusion! Yes, intrusion of your bowels out of your body. Oh, I got fucked up. Oh, dude, sir. Stop. Oh, wow. Okay. So. I'm a feisty one. You don't know about feisty. Whoa. Oh, miss me. Oh, no. You guys just had a bad day. Had a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> that guy was level 10. I aspire, I aspire to be a level 10. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. So Pearl fucking played us. That's a nice fucking twist to the story. I like that. It's, what are you guys doing? Are you guys hugging? Like, go inside the house if you want to do that. You know what? I don't care. You guys do you. Actually, no, hold up. There's a treasure chest over here. Let's get that. I like the treasure. Uh, nope. Let's go in the house. Treasure. I would like, please. I want money and goodies and things to craft. We have to go all the way upstairs. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? There it is. I hear it. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Good stuff. Stephanie liked what I had to say. Very nice. See, that's why I'm actually proud of the fact that I can have very positive conversation with Benders. Uh, Benders um, is a regular on the channel. And some of his uh, opinions are different from mine. But I can have conversations with the guy and still be respectful and pleasant. I think that's something that's lost on people. It's like, oh, well, you don't agree with me, then cancel. Or you don't agree with me, then uh, I hope all your family dies of cancer and no one ever is successful in life. It's like, whoa. Whoa. As long as people ain't breaking laws and shit, like... People who are not strong in their own beliefs and where they stand are usually easily offended by people that don't share that belief. In my opinion, that, that's what I feel. Hello, what are we doing here? Hi, guys. Oh, we completed the mission. Yay! Do not touch the river, river tames. Yeah, not happening. And yeah, we could do that. But we did all right. We did all right. Cheers. W, win. Conversations key. Yes. And even the conversation, because sometimes the conversation, Stephanie, um, isn't productive. You still, you come to a stalemate where it's like, well, I believe this, I believe this. 
and fuck you. Okay, well, fuck you. Then it's like, okay, stalemate. Uh, and that'll happen. Where is this treasure chest? What's up there? Okay, got this. Um, even stalemates, there could still be a, like, a common ground somewhere. It just takes work to find that common ground. A lot of people don't want to do the work. Because it's easier to get offended. It's easier to get into a fight. It's easier to call people names. It's just easy. In this day and age, people are all about easy. I'm not talking about, like, sexual kind either. I'm just talking about, hey, in our day-to-day, -day, go for the easy shit. Anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are a level... There's no other missions. We have to go over here. Oh, hold up. No, no, no. What's this? End of the line. We're getting her. We're getting her. Let's fucking get it. Let's go. Okay, I need to fast travel now. Uh, where is our fast travel? Shit. Uh, right here. Got it. Unfortunately, she is no longer going to have any type of relationship with her cousin, sexual or otherwise. Although I feel it was a very long time ago when they did that. Pardon me. It's still fucking weird, though. <laughs> what a story. Like, what a twist. I, I was not expecting that tonight. I wasn't expecting to deal with that tonight. I'm glad the game's kind of surprised us that way, though, right? You forgot about agreeing and disagree, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Like, God forbid someone disagree with me. Like, oh no, they disagree with me. Like, fuck, okay, disagree with me. But, hey, Canucks game's on in playoffs. Cheers, we're both cheering for the Canucks. Right? Or we're cheering for the success of whatever. Like, man. Like, uh, man, people are too busy, too stressed, too tired to fucking deal with that. It's like, you know what? Not, I think one thing I'm teaching my kids is that not everyone is going to like you. Not everyone is going to agree with you. And that is okay. You have to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Right? If that makes sense. Be uncomfortable. With the comfort, oh, sorry, be comfortable with the uncomfortable. When that's a thing, you're able to go through life with your own belief. Don't let anyone rattle your chain. And just be a good human being. Whatever you believe, there's still basic tenets of being a good person. Right? Oh, what are you doing, sir? Where are you going, bro? I don't know why I killed that man. I saw a red icon, so I'm like... Bop. <laughs> right? You can be a good human being and have, uh, be kind of like, have some right-wing politics. You can be a good human being and have left-wing politics. Where's our icons? Over here. There's good in everything if you look for it. When there's bad that you come up against, then you just have to find either common ground or remove yourself from the situation. That's very simplified. I know there's a lot of complications where it's like, well, what about this scenario? What about this scenario? Listen, dude, we're playing a video game on stream. Like, I'm not going to go that far. Come on. That's not what people are here for. <laughs> we got a couple people, like a couple lurkers over on Rumble, a couple people on K, a couple people on YouTube and shit. Like, come on now. This what you need, you cheat. I'm not that good, guys. You didn't come here for that, that kind of type of conversation. <laughs> okay, let's go. End of the line. Let's get her. Let's get her. I think we'll call the stream after this mission. We got some story shit done tonight, guys. This is a productive stream. As late as we are going. Sir, the engine just pulled into Waterloo. Once Stark's men arrive, they're going to unload the train. Okay. Well, not if the train has already left. Assemble what? a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. What are we doing? Reach the vantage point. Oh, sure, I can do that. Vantage point. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that, Stephanie. I'm gonna see if I can. It's it's gonna ask us to go to this uh, viewpoint. 
So let's check the viewpoint, and then we'll see if we recruit some people for this, whatever that is. I agree with you. It's inside? Oh. The developers. A nice, easy entry. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Instead of making me go all the way to the side, down, back in, dude. Shout out fucking Ubisoft for this right here. Let's go. What's going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the delay. We will get you into the central station very soon. Where the hell is that schedule? Central station's closed. Attaway's orders. Yo, we got killer girl here. You saw these blueprints, did you not? Were you aware of this flaw? It's only a minor weakness, sir. The final wagon's otherwise fortified. Okay. Assassinate Pearl Attaway. Okay, we have stealth opportunity with the train conductor. I don't care about that. Security chief, unique kill opportunity. I'm down for that. Is usually punctual. What could be causing this delay? I'm going to miss my train. Did I assassinate you? Once the order comes through, we will send you on your way to the central station. Okay, let's get out of here. This guy's gonna go. I want this dude over here, man. Pause. <laughs> Pause. How do I get there, though? What? Bro, what? Hold up, where's this man? Yo, he's on the other side. How do we get there? Cause oh. problems. Bird is plain. It's Jacob Fry. <laughs> oh no, I can't get up there. Oh shit. Yo, people are fighting. Asshole. You're doing nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, it's like that. Wow, this guy's really fucking... Hit my Dead. Dead. Look at that shit. Here we go. Oh, hold up, hold up. We got some goodies right here. I'm all about the goodies. Yep. Oh, this guy's done. No clue. Oh, this, this person. Sorry. Oh, what are you, are you okay, sir? Can I help you? Thank you, lad. I didn't even know what happened there. Have to run. Someone's bound to find you. I didn't even know we we're trying to do that. But hey, <laughs> we got a win. I'll take the wins. So where are we going here, bro? Once the order comes through, we will send you on your way to the central station. <laughs> there we go. Love it. Yeah, people are pissed right now. A lot of guards over here, huh? A lot of guards over here.
A lot of cards. Stop it. Jacob. Jacob. Dude, I'm getting pissed off right now. <laughs> He's like bounce around and shit. Bro, stop it. Okay, that's where it's at. Got it. Drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. Perhaps I should thin this herd. There we go. Kill one guy. Chill. Yo, this is pretty stealth, actually. I'm pretty happy about this. There's a secret passage? Where's the secret passage? There's no way I'm going to find it, though. Shit. Oh, we're dead. Jacob is a fucking boss right now. Shit. Go, drop, 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 drop. Drop until he's hot. What are you talking about, bro? Oh, fuck you. Ah, barrel roll. Where's the secret passage? Where's the secret passage, though? These guys are dead. Let's get it. I know, I know. It was just... I got too excited, I suppose. Sorry. Oh, she's alive! Oh, shit! I thought he was dead! Yeah, okay. I'm getting a little loosey-goosey with it right now. Time to wrap this up. <laughs> let me, let, I'll call it how it is. Where's the, where's the secret fucking entrance though? Where's the secret passage, man? Oh, sweetheart. It could have been fun. We could have had some really good one-night stands. Like, it would have been good. You look so what good in purple. Shame. Good partnerships are hard to come by. Mm. Ours is most certainly dissolved. It's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be unpleasant when he's cross. Do I give a fuck? I have sacrificed so much. I don't want to lose my buses. Bitch, you're dying. You care about your buses? That's all it is to you? You're not even Templar. Templars are caring about, like, control and shit. You care about your buses? Bitch, you, you lost... A focus of the dream. You, if you're supposedly a Templar, like, what? That twist was for nothing. I have no respect for this. Tier. Like, nah. The father understanding guides you. Guide you. And you know what? I could have got rude with that. I could have really got rude with that. I, I, yeah, I, I calmed it down a little bit there. <laughs> the father of understanding can guide something somewhere, but we'll leave it at that. Let's get out of here.
Escape with a train? Yeah. Like, dude, that just... That cheapened her whole fucking, like, villain turn. The whole thing where she's, like, part of the Templars? Ooh, big deal. And then when I'm killing her, it's supposed to be the big reveal of her... Of where she stands within the whole plot of things. She's like, I don't want to lose my buses. Bitch, you lost your life! What are you talking about? Like, the buses aren't getting you fucking shit. There's no legacy here. Your buses aren't a part of the Templar's big plan. They're buses. Like, get to the back of the bus is where you belong with a fucking helmet on. Serious, Mary, now? Oh, the blood of the handkerchief. Okay. So, Stephanie, if we go back to Assassin's Creed 1... And that's where we first kind of saw this starting. Um, whenever Altair or any assassin would complete a kill, they took a white dove's feather. It's either a dove's feather or eagle feather. It's a white feather. And after they killed the target, they would take the feather and wipe the blood of their target on the feather. And that would be proof of their kill. They would bring that back to the uh, leader of that town or that area which then reported back to the like head office of assassins so this is a throwback where they don't use feathers anymore but they're able to use that as a way to represent i guess they're respecting the past they, they still have some traditions the, the assassin's order still has a tradition and a way to saying hey this is proof of my kill of uh, my mission this is proof that my mission is complete with this target so uh kind of a lore thing there I hope that, that answers your question. I hope that helps. And for someone like me who's... Uh, like, that type of small detail to me is like, oh my god, this ties back to... Anything in sequels that ties back to previous ones, I love that shit. It, there's gotta be that continuation. There's gotta be that connection to the previous ones. There's gotta be, for me, anyway. <laughs> what are you doing, Black Flag? Black Fe see, so they kind of went away from that. Assassin's Creed 1 went through that. I think there might have been some in Assassin's Creed 2. I can't remember. But they kind of went away from it. And so the fact that they brought it back is a way of saying, hey, there's some tie there. There's a connection over all of these, these years. The Assassin Order is still recognizing something from that era. There's a connection to that era where it all started for us back in 2006 if that makes sense i don't think in black flag it was just a pirate shit it's like you know word of mouth stuff <laughs> lots of rum you know they were drunk a lot let's be fair <laughs> so i think a lot of times it was just they, they took our word for it but um and that's why i'm excited that they brought something like this back it hasn't been in a lot of the recent Assassin's Creed's up to this point. It wasn't in Rogue, it wasn't in Unity, it wasn't in fucking even Assassin's Creed 3 or Black Flag. So the fact they brought that back, it's like, ooh, there's a tie-in. Okay, I like it. You know? So, yeah. Any tie-in I can get with sequels, I will take it, jump on it, savor it. It's great, in my opinion. Take the cargo. Could the Johnny Jet maybe start a rum company? I believe that shit. If Ryan Reynolds can have aviation gin, The Rock can have uh, Terramana tequila. I think it's Terra. I think Terramana is tequila. Then fuck yes, Johnny Depp can have fucking rum company. I will drink that shit. Uh, I'm a fan of Ryan Reynolds. I'm a fan of The Rock. I I, I love like their work, their history, all that stuff. But I haven't gone out of my way to try their liquor companies. Which is especially interesting since I'm in Vancouver. Ron Reynolds is from Vancouver. He's a big, he's, you know, a lot of Canadian ties here. But I've never had aviation gin. I like gin. Gin, well, gin doesn't like me. It gets me in trouble a lot. Uh, don't talk to Nikki about that. Um, <laughs> um, and then I know Terramana is The Rock's tequila. 
And I haven't gone out of my way to get that. But Johnny Depp starting a rum company, like, dude, if that he's not playing off of fucking Captain Jack Sparrow, and that's not his character. It's Disney's character. He just played it. So he's got to be careful. Obviously, he can't use the Disney names or any copyrights, but come on. Come on. Johnny Depp and a rum? Like, I gotta try it, man. It's Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. I don't care if Disney's there or not. He's fucking Captain Jack Sparrow for life. What's good, Skywalker? Yeah, I'm talking a lot. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, man. I appreciate it. I'll take that as a compliment. Because I'll chat back at you, bro. Perils of business. Okay, let's watch. Who knew Steric could actually fucking play piano? Men's uh, cultured. Good to see you on stream, uh, Skywalker, by the way. What? That's gun. <laughs> Yo, appreciate the subscription, bro. <laughs> Mr. Starry. Yo, I might be, I might have a PhD in yapping. This guy can play piano, but he can't sing for shit. I'm just calling how it is. I don't make the rules. <laughs> Hope you do well, Skywalker, by the way. Have you played through Assassin's Creed Syndicate, by the way? Let me know. Let's go. Oh, shit! To disturb me! <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Do not disturb art. He's still singing. Such a moment I what the fuck did we just see? She's just watching. She's like. That you She ain't saying shit. Her luster stripped by the hands of that savage. He must be brought to justice. Pearl would not want justice. Pearl would want vengeance. Your passion is most welcome, Miss Thorne. But we cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. Oh, okay. If we do that, the enemy wins. Interesting. It shall happen in the shadows. Miss Fry will hang from the gallows, and I will flay her brother as he comes to save her. Bitch, we already beat you once and three out of window. Shut the fuck up. And the mini hat, I will say it again, I fucking hate that shit. You're not fancy. She's not fancy. I suppose it must be done. Take no chances. Increase the Templar presence in London. We alone protect this city of light. Yes, Crawford. And then we shall enter the vault and cast aside the shadows together. What? The vault? What vault? What's in the vault? And why are the shadows in there? It just a letter. Add more candles. For me? Of course. There's always a letter for Jacob. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> well, get mad. Steric, I killed your cousins. You can't fuck her no more. <laughs> Holy crap, my friends. This game has absolutely been crazy. I've been loving every second of it. And. The plot twists have been like WTF, mate. 
has been. It's, and that's why I've been yapping so much, Skywalker. That's why I've been talking so much. A lot to talk about. With that being said, though, it is work night, and we have been going for quite a while. And uh, unfortunately, I started late, so I'm sorry for that, my friends. But if you want to say hi or let us know how you're doing, feel free to follow us, interact with us on Twitter or on our Discord channel. We're always there. I love chatting with you guys offline. Until the next stream, two nights from now, my friends. Stay happy. Stay healthy and happy. Stay safe. Go give someone a high five, and we'll see you all on the next one. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Peace.